Today I'm going to share with you 10 ways you can make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons in 2021. Before we start, I just want to thank you all for 100 subs on this channel. You guys are awesome, and we're going to dive right into this. Number 1, the seashell method. One of the quickest and easiest ways to get instant bells during the beginning parts of your Animal Crossing journey is to sell seashells. Seashells are worth a significant amount of bells and they spawn every day, typically every hour. I just made an easy 4,000 bells in only a couple minutes just by picking up seashells along the shore. And like I said, you can do this every hour. Here is how much each seashell is worth in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number two, the money tree method. Growing up, my mom always told me, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, apparently she never played Animal Crossing because in Animal Crossing, you can plant money trees and it's super easy to do so. Every day on your island, there will be a glowing spot in the ground. And when you dig it up, you will get 1,000 bells. But don't run off just yet. Instead, you can plant the 1,000 bells into the ground and it will grow and blossom into a beautiful money tree worth 3,000 bells and you can get even more money if you go into your inventory and tap the number indicating how many bells you want to pull out and plant a larger sum of money like 10,000 bells for example if you plant 10,000 bells into the ground your tree will grow and blossom into a money tree worth 30,000 bells and I've heard of people planting 99,000 bells and their tree giving them nearly 300,000 bells but that's not guaranteed to happen because after 10,000 bells Bells, the spawn rate for the higher amount decreases so that means after that it's only a game of chance by planting 10,000 bells each time you're always guaranteed 30,000 bells number three DIY crafting crafting is another way to make bells in Animal Crossing and you can make up to two even three times more bells by selling crafted items instead of selling the resources so for example we'd sell for 10 bells each and you need 15 weeds to make a leaf umbrella. So if you just sold 15 of your weeds to the nook's cranny, you would only make 150 bells. But if you craft them into a leaf umbrella, you'll make 300 bells, which is twice the amount of bells. Number four, the hot DIY item. So your nook's cranny will also buy a hot DIY item every day that is completely random. They will offer you double the usual price for that item. Today the hot item was a log garden lounge and I just crafted up a bunch of log garden lounges with some spare wood I had just in my storage and I literally made an easy 30k just by doing that. This method works best if the material is really easy to get or if you just had the material just laying around. You can make a lot of bells pretty quickly just by doing this. Number 5. The Fruit Method Fruit is an awesome way to make some passive income in Animal Crossing. The native fruits that are on your island when you start the game, they aren't worth that much. They are only worth 100 bells per fruit. However, the fruits that you can get that aren't on your island, like the non-native fruits, they are worth so much more. Non-native fruits are worth 500 bells per fruit. Big difference, right? That means each non-native fruit tree that you plant is worth 1500 bells per tree. So let's say that you created a small orchard filled with 100 non-native fruit trees. You would make 150 50k each harvest and you can harvest the fruits twice a week so that means you would make 300,000 bells each week with only 100 non-native fruit trees and there's no limit to how many of these trees that you can plant on your island so you can make even more money if you wanted to so how do we get all these different non-native fruits well there are a couple ways to get different fruits on your island your virtual mom will send you a non-native fruit in the mail just a few days after you start your game. And you can also get non-native fruits on the mystery islands you go to by using Nook Mile tickets. And there's also coconuts on these mystery islands. They're worth 250 bells each, so you can snag some of them up if you want. You can also get non-native fruits by visiting other people's islands because they could have different fruits on their island. Number six, the money rock method. So all the rocks on your island provide materials like clays and ores once you strike it 
but there is a special rock on your island that appears once a day that will give you bells. And the location of this rock is random. It will be a different rock each day. How many bells can you get from this magical rock, you may ask? Up to 16,000 bells. But you must be very fast at it because there is a limited amount of time to get the maximum amount of 16,000 bells. But fortunately, there is an easy trick to it. All you have to do is dig up a couple holes around your character so that your character doesn't move away when you're striking the rock which gives you enough time to get all 16,000 bells from the money rock. Number seven, sell fish, bugs, and collect fossils. You can make a pretty good amount of bells just from catching fish, bugs, and collecting fossils in your Animal Crossing New Horizons island. I always like to donate the first one of everything to Blaffers in the museum, and it's very possible while you're on the hunt, you might find some fish or bugs that are worth up to 15,000 bells. Number eight, turnips. Now, if you're new to the series, you might not be familiar with turnips. Basically, the whole concept of turnips is to buy turnips at a low price and sell them for a higher price. You can get turnips from Daisy May. She shows up at your island every Sunday morning from 5 a.m. and she stays on your island till around noon. And the prices range from 90 bells up to 110 bells per turnip. I've made millions of bells so quickly from turnips. I'm not going to go too deep with turnips in this video because I already have a few turnip guides on my channel. You can check them out after this video. Don't click away just yet because I have some more advanced methods that you should know. Number 9. Nookazon Next up we have Nookazon, which is basically the Amazon of Animal Crossing. You can sell any kind of Animal Crossing item on here. You can clean out your storage and sell or trade items that you aren't using or never plan to use and sell them on Nookazon and get up to 10, even 20 times more bells than you would if you sold them at your Nook's Cranny. And you can also sell your unwanted villagers on Nookazon and do services for people like weed cleanup. It's pretty cool. I have a couple videos about Nookazon on my channel that go into more detail. Now the last method that we're going to go over to making bells in Animal Crossing is the duplication glitch method. Yes, you heard that right. There's actually a way to duplicate your items in Animal Crossing. And the possibilities are endless. You can duplicate pretty much anything, like Nook Mile tickets, bells. You can even duplicate the most expensive item in the game, which is the Royal Crown. And that sells for 1.2 million. So imagine that you duplicate a full inventory's worth of Royal Crowns. You can literally make 48 million each time you do the glitch. And if you would like to see a comprehensive guide on how to do that, then check out my duplication glitch video. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.